Hi everyone! I am going to be doing my February favorites today. This is going to be a mixture of January and February put together since I was in India in Jan and I didn't do a favorites video then. So a lot of these products are my go-to products that I use in the month of January and February on my trip and also just things that I've been loving since I've been back so I'm really excited to do this. So at first, like in the beginning, I just want to go over some staples that you guys already know I love which is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. This was the only foundation that I took with me to India and it photographs really well as long as you don't do um, too much over it. So this was my definite go-to the entire time I was there. I use this every single day. I keep trying out new foundations, but none of them are as good as this one. Um, then, of course, my Pro Longwear Concealer. There's just nothing that matches this in terms of how it just doesn't smear off. It stays on. It looks really natural, and it's just totally creaseless. It's just the best. This is an end color, um, NW35. Then I cannot leave the house without this product. This is the Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector. Or um, I guess it's in dark peach. This is the color. It just It's just the best way to brighten up your eyes really naturally. It doesn't look like you're wearing anything. And it's something that I didn't even feel like I ever had bad dark circles. I still don't. But this just helps so much. So I love that. And then a product that I sort of revisited um, while in India because that blemish that I got was uh, Studio Finish Concealer in NC42. This one, I mean, it, it worked for my purposes, like in terms of covering up what I needed it to, but I don't, I'm not, I can't say that I'm obsessed with it, it's just that I use it a lot, so obviously it's a fave since I did keep coming back to that. Um, and then to set my makeup, I used this one, the Scandinavia No More Shine Makeup Finish, every single day. This was just more... More than just not causing oil, which it is really good at controlling oil, it also just helps to keep your makeup on. So when you're doing so much, like hugging people and meeting people and all that sort of stuff that happens at weddings, you need something that's going to make sure your makeup does not come off your face and that this is that product. It's amazing. And then I found myself just going to one brush for foundation. If I couldn't find this brush, I miss it a lot. I just, this is the absolute best brush for foundation. Um, if you have a foundation that is not... Um, overly thick. This works really, really well. This is the Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki F80. Love it. Totally flat top. This just applies foundation so well. I feel like it looks really natural. This is my absolute go-to. Then, as far as cheeks, well, I guess I can finish up eyes. So, Urban Decay Primer Potion. Love this. There's no point in putting on eyeshadow without a primer. It is going to come off. I have yet to find an eyeshadow that I feel like a normal eyeshadow, like a powder product that does not come off without primer. And this is my favorite. This is just a regular old one. Then, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have to say this is amazing. I had heard a lot about this. I walked into Sephora one day when I wasn't able to get my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus and I asked them what was really comparable to that and, you know, if I liked that sort of look. And they said that this is. And it's amazing. It's just a really heavy, sort of bulky um, packaging. It doesn't look like it, but it's definitely really heavy, but it's incredible. Then, I have been doing a lot with my brows recently. I don't know if you guys can tell. You can tell me if you like it. But I found my aqua brow sitting in my makeup, which this just shows how much stuff I have that I don't even know that I have it anymore. And I bought this last year when I was in LA. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow Color 30. It's that color. And I love it. Like, it is definitely pretty different than the Anastasia one, which I'm going to show you guys also. And I will be doing a compare, um, like a, a comparison type of video, but this is really great. It's, I think it's cheaper than the Anastasia, I think. Actually, maybe not makeup, it's pretty expensive. But it is a good product for my eyebrows. I could even stand to go a shade lighter, I think. This could be a bit too dark for me. My other eyebrow product that I've been loving is Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade that everybody has been talking about. I finally went out and bought it. This is in dark brown. I love it. This is what I'm wearing today. They're both really great products. It just comes down to whichever one you think is uh, more affordable, which I will find the prices, and when I edit the video, I'll have it up for you. But, I mean, the ease of application of both of them are just incredible. Love it. This is Anastasia Dark Brown. Um, sorry, I know I sound congested. I've been, I've had a cold for the longest time, and it's just not going away. And then in terms of eyeshadow, the one palette that I used the most while in India was the Vice 2 palette, and specifically in this palette... In terms of doing makeup for weddings, I loved this color Strike. It looks like such a yellow gold in here, 
um, but it doesn't come off that way. It really brightens up your eyes exponentially. It looks amazing. It's just the perfect wedding color. And then I did a lot with Radar as well. I'll be doing a look for you guys soon using these two colors, which I have found has just ended up being a really good combination that I have really been enjoying. I love those colors. And then to apply eyeshadow, the one brush that I think is a total, total must-have from Sigma is this one right here. It's the Firm Shader E57. This came out in one of those three kits that came out a while ago that I've already done a review on, but now they're available individually. It was so weird. I was literally dreaming about how these brushes need to come out as individual brushes. I feel like all the brushes should. And that same night, when I, well, I guess I woke up in the morning and there was an email from Sigma saying that it had come out. It was just crazy. And this was when I was in India, but incredible brush. This brush makes even the most difficult to appear eyeshadows just, just pop. And it does such a great job. I don't even know what it is. It's the fibers in here. It's incredible. Absolute must have. Love it. Then, also for eyes, this is something that I have loved these last few months. This is Solomon Islands Eye Paint by NARS. It is this total electric blue, and I have to say, it is, it's just, it's just a wow product. Like, it looks so good on, and what I was doing in India on days that I didn't have much time, literally, is I was putting on under eye concealer, my Bobbi Brown um, Peach Corrector, and concealing parts of my face that I felt needed concealing with my um, with my studio uh, finish concealer and then I was just putting on like uh, just translucent powder which was my MAC prepping prime and this and I just loved it it was such a good look it, this really just brightens eyes it's great for days where you don't want to wear too much that's when you need some oomph in a different area you can go totally bare face that's fine too but this was a really cool way to look like you've done something but not really trying that much so I love it um, this is on the NARS website. They have a, a bunch of different colors. The consistency though is amazing. It does not fade. Like it does not move from your waterline. Then as far as lips go, my absolute favorite lipstick these last couple of months, I think. I don't even know when I ordered this, but it's been a, it's been a while. I feel like I've had it for a while. This is M Cosmetics by Michelle Phan. The lipstick is called Posh. I am loving this, you guys. It is such a great color. I absolutely love it. Her products, I mean, so far I've only tried the lipsticks, but they're really, really high quality. They are expensive. Packaging's a bit different. It's cute. It's very different than the normal black that most makeup companies like to adopt, so that was nice. And then the really perfect nude combination that I've been using a lot lately is the Hourglass Nude Lip Crayon here in N6. That is the color. This looks so great even by itself, but just if you want to add a little bit of shine, I've been using Inglot Sleek's Paint um, Color 92. This is a really great nude. It's really pigmented as well, so you don't necessarily need a lipstick underneath this, but this together just makes your makeup really stay on longer. Well, your lips, you know, makes it stay on longer. This is a really good product, too. I've had this for a very long time. I also like how simple the packaging is sometimes. The most simple packaging is the easiest to use. It looks the nicest. I don't like stuff that's super bulky, and I feel like this is perfect. It's plastic, so it's not like it doesn't look like expensive or anything, but it's just nice. It's easy. Then my one blush that I think I wore pretty much every day in India, and if you have followed me on Instagram, you'll see this in all of my pictures pretty much since I've been wearing this every day there. Um, this is Teos Blush by NARS. Normal packaging right here. I can't say enough good things about this. Let me swatch this. That's what it looks like on my finger. I honestly can't even say enough about this. I think this is the most perfect, perfect blush color um, that I think just makes you look really tan and just naturally flush. Like this was the color that I used every day can't get enough of this. I just find ways to use it every day. It's not super natural. Like it does look like you're wearing something, so it's not something you can wear all the time regardless of what you're wearing. It is very peach. It's kind of, it has that, you know, mandarinish sort of color. So you do have to make sure you wear like the right lip color and stuff like that, but I am obsessed with this, you guys. It's amazing. And my last product that I've been using a lot, and that's also what I'm wearing on my lips today since I'm sure you guys will ask, I bought this little lip palette from, from MAC. I don't think it's a pro product. It's just the Six Select Plums. Pro, oh, actually it is. Pro Lip Palette. So it's got the colors Twig, Captive, Verve, Amorous, Hang Up, and Cyber. 
and I have loved these. For the weddings there, I use this the most, hands down. Colors like this look really good on Indian clothes because you do have to have more color on your face. It can't look very basic. And the color that I'm wearing today, I have mostly this really dark color, which would be uh, Cyber, which I think, I feel like MAC makes this by itself too, like that color. They, it might, MAC might made all of these separately, I'm not really sure, but the other color that I also have just in the center is Hang Up. Because when I put this on by itself, Cyber looked awesome, but for my very normal day that I was running today, like, you know, I didn't want to look overly done, so I had some of that. But normally, even by itself, Cyber was really great. So the other color next to it is Hang Up that I have just in the center. Love this. It's just normal lipstick. It's not the easiest to put on. You do have to, like, really kind of coax it out of there, but I feel like it looks really good. And, of course, colors, like, just end up staining your lips. So even when it's gone from your lips, it's still going to look like there's something on. And then... If you guys want to um, know what this amazing highlight here is, this is Kevin Aquan's Candlelight. And I was shopping today. I definitely picked it up. I've heard a lot about it recently. Um, but Kevin Aquan is not that easily available here in Atlanta. So where I was today, it ended up being there. And I thought I would try it on, and I loved it. So I did pick it up. Tell me if you guys like it or if you think it's, like, too much. But I love it. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching and supporting. Make sure you join me um for my twitter slash instagram giveaway that i'm going to be having very soon make sure you start following me on both of them they're both makeup by mega and it'll be up above so you guys know how to spell that and i'll see you guys very soon bye